Hello everyone, and we are on the hunt for the pinworm, known as uh, Enterobius vermicularis. It is the one that terrorizes diaper wearers all over the world. Uh, the adult female comes out at, in the middle of the night, and she lays her eggs around the anal opening, and then um, the baby scratches uh, the itch, and... Um, ends up moving the <laughs> moving the eggs into his or her mouth uh, and then the cycle really starts back all over again so the eggs it's a fecal oral route uh, as soon as we get that egg to that small intestine the larvae hatch out and um, adults uh, are in the lumen of the cecum and there is a um, female when she's ready uh to put those eggs out there she'll lay her eggs outside in that perianal cavity or perianal area um in the nighttime but this is a sheet of cells i thought it was really cool i'm just gonna go in and out for you look at that this is in fecal material so this it doesn't really necessarily look like human cells I just thought this was really neat, uh, something neat. It's an artifact. It's not anything um, parasitic. We've got a lot of wild things in here that could be, um, could, that could throw you off, really. I uh, haven't seen any eggs yet or any adult female worm. Let's take a look at this. This is, this is not an adult worm either. This looks like this might be a little bit of a hair, like a peach hair or something. Uh, notice that it's got the, the line that goes all the way through down to the end, which could kind of make you think that it's an intestinal uh, tract of a worm. But, um, you know, the tail isn't right. She would have a pin tail, you know, a nice pointed tail at the end. And we really can't see that face up here. So it really honestly looks like a peach hair or something. Um, yeah, so far I haven't really seen anything. This could just be a bogus video, <laughs> uh, but we are looking, sifting through and wading through the crapola. It is stained with iodine. That's why you see the orangeness to it. There should be at least some eggs. We are on 40 magnification, so we are really, we're really zoomed in because I wanted you to see these artifacts. That's, again, not a worm. Worms have, you know, beautiful, smooth, uh, beautiful, smooth skin, <laughs> and that is not. Okay, so I'm going to uh, look off the video just to make sure that I'm not wasting your time, so I'll be right back. Okay, this is cool too. <laughs> More uh, plant type of material, but take a look at that. Isn't that neat? It makes you think it's a cestode, but we're looking for a nematode. And then it all unravels. <laughs> so no, this isn't a cestode either. These are not proglottids. Um, so if you don't know what a cestode is, that's a tapeworm. Um, this is not a tapeworm. Uh, it's, it's more uh, plant material. Lots of happy bacteria, I'll tell you that. Oh my goodness. Still looking offline. Okay, well, there's an Enterobius vermicularis egg right there. It's got a flat side um, on the upper part next to my pointer. It's got the developing larvae inside and um, <clears throat> there's a space in between so you can see the thick outer shell so it's transmitted uh, like I said by self-infection um, person by person can also happen if there's contaminated uh, clothes or bed linens maybe even uh, carpets um, 
So the developing larvae inside the egg becomes infected in four to six hours under optimal conditions. This is a worldwide infection that can happen uh, anywhere, and it's usually schools or preschool children um, that are in crowded conditions that end up have, have, having this spread. It's uh, usually asymptomatic, but the, the most common uh, symptom is perianal paritis. Um, and uh, that could lead to bacterial super infections, depending on you know what's going on there. And uh, I guess that's it. Um, there could be anorexia or irritability and abdominal pain. But this is this is what the uh, the egg looks like. Uh, if you like this video, please subscribe, like, share, and uh, set those notifications so you know when a new one's coming up. I'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.